Why do we believe? What draws us to a mosque, temple, or church? Since ancient times, humans have had an innate curiosity to understand natural or supernatural occurrences. And from this curiosity, many beliefs have been created throughout time. When do you think the earliest belief systems were created? The earliest systems of belief imagined an invisible spirit world that existed alongside the physical world of humans. Hunter-gatherer communities created ritual songs and dances or staged mock hunts to please the spirits of the natural world. The spirits were believed to come from certain people, animals, places, or objects while other spirits controlled certain aspects of life. These spirits weren't gods, and these belief systems were not religions, at least not in the sense of today's organized religions. Instead, all of the natural world was part of this spiritual world, which is called animism. In animistic communities, spirits could be benevolent, mischievous, or downright evil. Rituals such as dances or sacrifices were performed to appease the spirits or to ask for help. Sometimes a shaman would communicate with the spirits to ask for assistance. Many early belief systems also sought to contact ancestors who had passed into the spirit world from which evolved ancestor worship. These early humans asked these spirits and ancestors for protection and well-being amid the harsh realities of life on Earth. In this way, belief systems provided comfort for people in a frightening and uncertain world. These types of early belief systems are completely natural to early civilizations on planets where human life evolves. It's a natural process of learning and attempting to explain unknown things about life. However, most civilizations outgrow belief systems when science and technology advance to a point of explaining the things that were previously not understood. However, this hasn't happened yet on Earth. Theological belief systems are a few thousand years old and are characteristic of post-agricultural societies. Ancient Egypt flourished in the Mediterranean for almost 3,000 years. The Egyptians worshipped more than 1,500 gods, such as Osiris, Ra, and Horus. The ancient Greek civilization had several gods, including Zeus, Poseidon, Apollo, and Athena. Hinduism is also a polytheistic religion that emerged in the second millennium BCE. The three main Hindu gods are Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. The Abrahamic religions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are all monotheistic and are centered around worshiping the God of Abraham. All religions are based on belief. Belief in God, belief in Jesus, belief in an afterlife, belief in the church, belief in religious texts, belief in everything possible. Even atheism is a belief. Unfortunately, the majority of people on earth still live their life based on belief. But what is belief? Belief is defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as, number one, a state or habit of mind in which trust or confidence is placed in some person or thing. Number two, something that is accepted, considered to be true, or held as an opinion. So a belief is considered to be true or is held as an opinion. The word opinion is defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as a view, judgment, 
or appraisal formed in the mind about a particular matter. An opinion is a personal view or an appraisal, both of which are subjective. An opinion is a subjective appraisal based on assumptions, not on facts. The Merriam-Webster English Dictionary also lists belief as a synonym for opinion. Therefore, opinion and belief have the same meaning. The common everyday use of the word belief is also tied to linguistic expressions, such as, I believe it will rain tomorrow, or I believe Jim will be back this evening. People use the word belief in everyday speech and writing without meaning they believe in something because they have learned this behavior through conversations with others. Belief and faith encompass an idea that something is true and verifiable without any contradictions. And even though it's unprovable, it is nevertheless considered to be absolutely true. The concept of faith is in reality an opinion and is completely subjective. Faith is shaped by personal feelings, personal interests, prejudices, a lack of objectivity, and a strong bias conditioned by emotional impulses. In today's world, there are many people who swear that everything they are told is the truth. There is no deliberation or second thoughts. Every word is simply accepted and believed as truth without consideration or verification, regardless of whether it's related to religious or secular matters. From there, people pass on their belief to the next person, who also accepts what they just heard as truth. And through this unending cycle, beliefs are spread throughout society. Beliefs should never be equated with actually knowing something. To know something means much more than to have information and knowledge or a belief about something. For example, if you go to school to learn a profession or a trade, the time in school explains how the job is done and provides a basic overview of the knowledge required to perform the job. After school, the knowledge is applied through on-the-job training or an apprenticeship. It's the repeated application of knowledge during practical experience over time that builds towards a real knowing of the job. When we examine our lives, it should become evident that beliefs and opinions are formed when we either don't know or are unsure of something. We go through life making decisions and forming opinions beyond the evidence we've acquired. But it's better to accept that we don't know something rather than to form opinions and beliefs. There are many reasons to avoid forming beliefs. Beliefs create walls around our mind, and these walls stay there until something causes us to think differently. Strongly held beliefs, such as religious belief, create barriers between the believer and any new information or facts that may arise. This is because when a belief is already established, it becomes harder to accept any new information contrary to the existing belief. In this way, belief is a powerful form of prejudice and control that shuts out everything logical and rational. Because the state of belief prevents any contrary information from being rationally thought over, once a belief is formed, it's very difficult or almost impossible to escape. A state of belief does not allow a person to recognize or understand that their thinking has been restricted. This is because belief prevents logic and reasoning and suppresses independent thinking. When a person holds a belief, they have either formed this belief themselves or adopted a belief or an opinion from another person. Either way, their belief is their very own, and it's up to them to weigh the pros and cons of their belief. Each individual person must weigh the value of their belief against their own intellect, 
reason, and logic. Every human being is entitled to freedom of opinion and belief. Along with the right of each person to hold their own belief, it is also the right of every other person to hold their own belief without condemnation or coercion from others. Many people are quick to share their beliefs and opinions they have formed. The problems begin when people push their beliefs and try to force them on others. A person should never convince other people of a belief or their opinion. To convince someone of a belief means to dissuade the other person from an already existing belief. However, this new belief simply contradicts an existing belief, after which the old belief is then pushed aside to adopt the new belief. In other words, it forces a person to adopt the belief of another person. In this way, belief after belief is continuously acquired throughout life without making any serious efforts to think and determine the truth of a matter. Religious belief destroys the ability to think freely and correctly. Once religious belief has been established, its compelling power paralyzes reasoned thinking and renders it inoperable. Consequently, the religious believer is comprehensively biased and is enslaved in their thinking. In addition, the fear of not following their faith begins to build subconsciously. This fear slowly creeps into the consciousness and creates corresponding fearful feelings and emotions. Fear is a clear indicator for a false belief. If you are afraid of something, closely examine what you believe to see if it is true and based on facts. The lifelong usage of belief-based thinking also causes irreversible damage to nerve cells in the brain. These nerve cells atrophy and die off over time because they are not used in a normal thinking process. Belief-based thinking doesn't require logic, reasoning, or understanding, and therefore no real thought process takes place. Nerve cells in the brain will die due to non-use, just like muscles in the body become atrophied if not used regularly. Billy said Sfoth told him that many people develop dementia and Alzheimer's due to lifelong belief-based thinking because their self-thinking atrophies and no longer functions. The brain tissue becomes calcified and unstable and causes circulatory problems. Billy went on to say that belief damages the brain to such an extent that it becomes completely incapable of normal, healthy, and independent thinking and leads to stultification in old age. So, how does one change from a state of belief? A state of belief can be slowly dismantled and ended if the belief is consciously and neutrally considered and analyzed. This means that a person can think over or analyze their belief without trying to interfere or change their belief. Through this work, many facts can be recognized which don't correspond with reality. From these recognized facts, further reasons are sought as to why these facts do not correspond to reality. If this work is continued, more and more facts of reality will be collected, which will lead to the uncovering of more and more fallacies of belief. Through this, the facts of reality and the fallacies of belief become weighed through understanding and reason, and slowly belief will fade into the background. In the end, belief will evaporate completely and one can begin to live consciously in the world of reality. Don't believe, think for yourself. <laughs>